Hey, Nana Snow Globe, I completely forgot about this. She said it would always make my wishes come true. No, hasn't worked so far. <gasps> oh, you're such a klutz. You can't do anything right. I just wish I could have a perfect Christmas for once in my life. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Eternal Christmas! talking about, Diana? School's out for Christmas vacation. It's the perfect time to be goofing around. Not according to my schedule. Three o'clock, find Martin and get a ride home. Four o'clock, change into flannel jammies and make holiday shortbread cookies. Five o'clock, commence watching sappy, tear-jerking Christmas flicks on TV. <laughs> wow, that sounds like fun. I especially like the part where you plan every waking second. Are you making fun of me? Look, Dee, all I'm saying is the holidays are supposed to be about spontaneous fun, not about forced merriment. Now toss the day timer and chill. Toss my day timer? Never! I'd be lost without it! That had so better not be what I think it is. Mom promised us the week off. Aha! Maybe she just wants to wish us a Merry Christmas. I guess I can pencil her in. Hey, where's Java? He's probably hiding from you and the organizer from hell. with the egg of the three-horned albino rhinoceros. <laughs> it looks like you better schedule a 3.30 holiday stomach pumping. Merry Christmas! Nice look, Job. Especially the lid. Only, I'm not exactly catching the Christmas vibe. Job and I are both alone for the holidays, so we rented a cabin and we're going ice fishing. Go ahead. It was a present from the Centurion Galaxy. It's luminescent, so there's no need for light. Ooh, cool. And there's a little something under there for each of you. Oh, Mom, you shouldn't have. <laughs> a flashing strobe light decoder ring? I really wanted to get you something you'd like. And I've noticed you enjoy looking at shiny things. <laughs> That's Martin, all right. Easily amused. Excellent choice, Mom. Ah! Hey, quit it! Your turn, Agent Lombard. I just hope you like your gift as much as Martin does. Wow, how <laughs> interesting. Um, what is it exactly? It's a paperweight. How perfect. Not just any paperweight. It's one of a kind. Made from a piece of the twister I brought back from my Tennessee vacation. <laughs> Very uh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Now, if you'll excuse us, the holidays await. Not so <coughs> fast. Several motorists have disappeared from the same stretch of mountain road in upstate New Hampshire. I'd like you two to check it out. Uh, but, Mom, it's the holidays. Uh, besides, the motorists probably just went off the road in a winter storm. No storms have been reported in the area. The sooner you're on it, the sooner you can start your vacation. Billy? We're a 
officially lost. Nice going. Stop being so uptight. You wanted Christmas? Well, here it is. Now mellow out and enjoy the holiday scenery. <laughs> it's way too freaky out here. And your hat is giving me a major headache. Let's see. One hour to get back to the exit. 40 minutes to get back to the city. That should get me home just in time to trim the tree. But I'll definitely miss my 7.30 holiday caroling. Okay, that's it. I can't take another second of you and your date timer and drudgery. Well, I can't take another second of your ridiculous flashing hat and your stupid scenic routes. Fine, then let's get this mission over with ASAP. Then you'll be free to do your boring thing, and I'll be free to do my fun thing. And in the meantime, don't even bother talking to me. Hmm. Fine. From this moment on, I won't say another word. Your screaming wasn't helping. For someone who's not talking, you sure have a lot to say. Oh, I'm sorry. Next time I'll keep my utter terror to myself! Huh? Hey, skid marks. I wonder if they have anything to do with the missing motorists. Guess we'll never know, since they vanish into thin air. Okay, I just got a serious case of the creeps. What do you say we look for the missing motorists someplace else? <laughs> Okay, now I'm the one who's freaked. Diana? Diana! Ah! Relax, Mr. Spontaneous Fun. It's just me. What was with that blinding flash of light? It was probably just the headlights of an oncoming car. It must have knocked us into the snowbank. Speaking of cars, where'd ours go? <gasps> More importantly, where'd that come from? Man, they sure like Christmas around here. <laughs> That's an understatement. I mean, hello, this joint is tackier than that hat of yours. I like to think of it as festive. Ah! Oh, sorry. My name is Clifford. Are you lost? Oh, uh, no. We're looking for some people who've gone missing. You wouldn't happen to know anything about it, would you? Oh, my, no. This is a quiet little town. Nothing of interest ever happens here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm in the midst of my holiday preparations. You'd best be on your way. Just follow that path through the trees. It'll take you back to the highway. Ever get the feeling you're not wanted? Every day. Unfortunately, I'm forced to hang with you. <laughs> Duh, I was talking about Clifford. I mean, think about it. He wasn't exactly driving the welcome wagon. You're right. We should probably stick around and check things out. Oh, So long, roasting marshmallows. Sayonara, mulled apple cider. Au revoir, tree trimming fun. Whoa, if that's not bizarro, I don't know what is. You mean their outdated fashion sense? No, I mean the way they just keep going around the pond the exact same way every single time. They're even more boring than you are. Hello, it's a small town. People get stuck in their routines, Martin. Okay, but have you also noticed there aren't any cars around? So, maybe they're like the Amish. You know, not into the whole technology thing. Then how would you explain these tire tracks? You want activated. Slime scan selected. <laughs> What's that going to tell you? That the tires are made of rubber? Analyzing data. Sample comprised of a man made plastic compound. Whoa. Forget the tires. <gasps> the snow's plastic. I know. It's freaky, huh? Be behind you. How dare you spy on us? I thought I told you two to leave. Last time I checked, it was a free country, Clifford. Besides, what are you gonna do? Sick some Christmas decorations on us? <laughs> Whoa! 
only to give the crazy dude ideas, Martin. How did I know he was going to go all scroogey on us? Find them, now! <laughs> Martin, what's happening? I don't know, but it's almost as if Clifford controls this town. Hmm. <laughs> Get them! <laughs> Look, it's the path that Clifford told us about. This must be the way out of here. <laughs> okay, I gotta admit, I didn't see this one coming. <laughs> Oh, my head. What happened? Well, the last thing I remember, you led us into a patch of overly friendly Christmas trees. After that, I'm a little foggy. But if I had to guess, I'd say Clifford tied us up. Hmm? Oh, oh, great! Now what? I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but it looks like we're on a conveyor belt headed straight for a giant mixing blade. Nuts, candy fruit, we're about to be turned into a food cake. I guess that explains why it always tastes so bad. Help! 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 Something tells me we've just found the missing motorists. That's right, and this is what happens to all trespassers, because nothing is going to interfere with my perfect Christmas. Nothing! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a tree trimming ceremony to officiate. Mark Mystery, this is all your fault! Just hang on, Dee! Uh, I've almost got it! You are activated. I have selected. <laughs> You okay, Dee? I'm fine. Thanks to you. Now let's get out of here before we say something nice we'll both regret. <laughs> what happened? Where are we? Two very good questions. Unfortunately, your guess is as good as mine. Huh. Uh, hey, look! A snow globe! Only... It's empty. Hmm, that's weird. These things are usually filled with quaint little scenes. You know, figure skaters, gingerbread houses, plastic snow. Hey, wait a minute, that's it! What, you think we're trapped in a snow globe? Not in a snow globe, in a snow globe world. The crack must have released the contents. And how exactly do you think that happened? I don't know, but I'm gonna fire up the legend X and find out. You want activated. Legend X selected. Aha! A turn-of-the-century legend about an antique snow globe. The globe will grant the owner one wish on Christmas Eve, but the spell can no longer be broken once the sun rises on Christmas Day. Clifford must have wished for a perfect Christmas, and now we're trapped here! That only gives us about five hours to break the spell, or we'll be stuck here forever. Uh-uh. There's no way I'm gonna let that happen. I'm gonna get out of this nightmare, away from you, and back on my holiday schedule if it's the last thing I ever do! It just might be. I guess the fish aren't biting tonight. Shh! Fish no like noise. Shh! What Java say? It's a call from Martin and Diana. Hmm. I wonder what they want. Hello? Hey! We need help! We're trapped in a strange Christmas village and we can't get out! Help. Diana? Hey. Diana? Are you still there? A 
According to the GPS on my computer, they're not far from here. Let's motor! Nothing is going to ruin my perfect Christmas! <laughs> Looks like you were right, Martin. Clifford does control this town. And something tells me he doesn't want us to break the spell. <laughs> I think it's time to bolt. <laughs> now! Go! <laughs> Go! Time to take them out with a song. Finish them off. Watch out! I gotta be honest, I never thought I'd go this way. <laughs> oh, am I ever glad to see you two? But I'm sorry we brought you into this. Not as sorry as I am. because we're stuck in a magical evil snow globe world. And the clock's ticking. We've only got one hour until sunrise. Then we become permanent residents of this hellacious holiday zip code. Have you tried restoring the snow globe to its original state? Think that'll work? I have absolutely no idea, but it's worth a shot. Oh. 
Man, am I ever glad that's over. <laughs> Whoa, what was that for? Guess I was just in the mood for a spontaneous holiday hug. Hey, I kind of like this. Maybe we should schedule these more often. Well, it's officially Christmas morning. And that means Java and I have some fish to catch. Ready, Job? Mm-hmm. Christmas fishing. Can I offer either of you a lift? Thanks, Mom, but Di and I are going home together for Christmas. I can't wait to see what other holiday treats she's got planned in that daytimer of hers. <laughs> the only thing I've got planned is you, me, and a week of fun. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <gasps> <sighs> Actually, Martin and I have decided to give each other a little space once we get home. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, right, Martin? Ah. Uh, right. Now let's get out of here. We're on vacation. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, happy holidays. To you too, Clifford. Two-term Jack. I like the sound of that. Yep. I'd say this election's in the bag. I know this. Uh, studying? Wrong! You're breaking every library rule ever created! Hey! hey. Huh? <sighs> now, I know you're just a goody two-shoes die, but you should really take a chill pill. I am not a goody two-shoes. I just have a healthy respect for authority, that's all. <laughs> uh, hello? You've never met a rule you didn't like and you know it. You're squeaky queen, a square, a goody goody. I'm not as straight laced as you might think I am, Martin Mystery. Oh, yeah? Let's just see about that. I'm going to put this book back and I'm not even going to look where. disregard for the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> Dewey what? Uh, sorry, but I'm afraid it's official. You've come down with a bad case of goody two-shoes. <laughs> Keep laughing. I'll show you two just how bad I can be. The center? It's coming from uh, here. Diana? 
Ah, don't worry, she'll catch up right after she finishes wiping the egg off her face. <laughs> Miss Goody Two Shoes is running late. Strange. She's usually a stickler for punctuality, not to mention every rule, regulation, and bylaw ever invented. Well, we had a little argument, but <laughs> that's nothing new. I'm sure she'll be along shortly. Good afternoon, team. Hi, Mom. Why isn't the expenditure and deficit rollback matching the free balance commitment? Hmm. And where did this goo come from? Oh, uh, there's a nasty code going through the giant tube worm colony in our lab. We, um, uh, mm. misplaced our mucus samples. Cool! Can I have some? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> I've been trying to make these numbers work for hours. I even tried the Tau Centauri inverse budget system, but nothing adds up. Just fudge <gasps> the numbers already. I mean, duh, everybody does it. Diana? Diana? That's my name. Don't wear it out. Hmm. Interesting look, Agent Lombard. Thanks, sister. So that's what kept you so long. You were trying on Halloween costumes. This isn't a costume, Martin. It's the new me. And FYI, the new me doesn't punch a time clock. <laughs> now what's the sitch, moms? Oh, I get it. Uh, you're being bad to make a point. The only point I see is the one on your head, pencil neck. <clears throat> uh, okay, uh, enough chit-chat. I need you three to go to Stillwater, a small town in Louisiana. The mayor was recently attacked and injured by an unseen force. Sounds right up our alley. Just be careful. Whatever attacked the mayor was strong enough to rip a window frame from the wall, after throwing the mayor out of it. Oh. <gasps> yeah, whatever. Yeah, if you'll follow me. Just a sec. about it. This place is scarier than Martin's closet on laundry day. But not as scary as Diana's sudden multiple personality disorder, and definitely not as scary as the outfit she's wearing. That's enough lip out of you, Pally. Now let's find our hotel and go see the mayor, capiche? <sighs> hey! You're not supposed to stand up before the boat stops! <laughs> like I care. Painful. Reminds me of the time I went urban surfing, blindfolded. I was getting ready for the election when I was picked up and tossed through the window like a rag doll. Oh, it was horrible. Sounds like your classic shadow demon, invisible and super strong. Sounds like extreme anxiety to me. It's simple. The election made you nervous and you had one of them panic attacks. Nothing to be ashamed of, Pops. <sighs> It would take one weird panic attack to do that. It's probably just a bug bite. In case you haven't noticed, this joint is seriously infested. Huh. Oh. Yeah, right. Anyway, uh, Bioscan should straighten everything out. You are activated. Bioscan selected. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Mayor. It's standard procedure. <gasps> Either there was a robbery at the donut shop, or we've got ourselves a situation. Let's roll. <sighs> no! Hmm. <gasps> 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 I wonder what's going on. You mean besides the creep factor going up by 10? Look, up there! 
Okay, ma'am, just stay calm. I'll help you down. No! I can't come down! Look at them all! Sounds like Granny's hallucinating. <laughs> Nice catch, Joff. Call an ambulance. She's out cold, but she'll be all right. <gasps> what that? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. <laughs> Hello? Anyone there? to see you guys. There was all this freaky chanting, and there were eyes everywhere, and I found this. What? You want a gold star or something? No, my crude little biker babe. I want to figure out what this means. And I want to get out of this swamp before the stank pollutes my leather. <gasps> oh, what happened? Either the maid went ballistic or someone rifled through our stuff. Gone. So's my makeup case. No nail clipper. Hey guys. Oh. <laughs> Wimps. I've got the bio scan results. <sighs> Go ahead, Billy. The marks on the mare were psychosomatic. Psychosmort? He means the old dude's marks were created mentally, not physically. Sounds like good old-fashioned voodoo. Excuse me? Psychosomatic injuries are a classic sign. I read about it in the fall fashion issue of Paranormal Monthly. Oh, uh, by the way, did you know that green is the new biohazard orange? Hmm. Okay. I think it's time for some real research, as in the scientific kind. Now quit blabbering and fire up the legend decks, Marty. Legend X selected. Now type in Stillwater. Well, the legend X says that Stillwater has a history of voodoo that goes back to the 1700s. Okay, so you were right. Now quit bragging and keep reading. A voodoo shaman lived here until he was run out of town. He was using a powerful talisman made of alligator teeth to control the townspeople. The legend says that he turned into an alligator and vanished in the swamp. Well, I think it's obvious. The old shaman is back and wants revenge. <laughs> Not likely. I mean, 1700s, the shaman would be pushing out the daisies by now. My money's on anxiety. Yeah, well, your money would be somewhere else if you saw that alligator I ran into. Look! Well, oh. just in, there's a new mayor in Stillwater today, since all other candidates were forced to withdraw from the election. The winner by default is Montgomery Stokes. Congratulations, Mayor Stokes. What happened to the other candidates was truly unfortunate. But as your new mayor, I will do my best to serve the community. I think it's time we paid Mr. Stokes a little visit. Can I help you? Hi, Mr. Stokes. I'm Martin, this is Diana, and that's Java. We're investigating the series of attacks that just happened to involve your electoral opponents. <laughs> you must forgive me. Those attacks were very unfortunate, but this is my first day as mayor, and I have much to do. Yeah, actually, about that... What a charmer. 
Oh, we could talk to the townsfolk, find out about Stokes from them. Or we could come back tonight for a little b and &E. Bacon and eggs? These old places always have a rusty lock or two. <clears throat> what? Uh, nothing. It's just, well, uh, breaking in. It's, it's kind of against the law. Look, if we're dealing with an evil voodoo shaman, then all bets are off. But you can always stay behind if you're chicken. Uh... Hmm. I never knew you were so good at picking locks. Neither did I. It's amazing how many rolls you can break with a simple hairpin. You hear that? That's the same noise I heard in the swamp. <laughs> Java no like. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Sorry, momentary relapse. <clears throat> Won't happen again. Let's just search this place and get out of here. <sighs> oh. <sighs> This confirms it. Stokes used voodoo to win the election. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Java! Java can't move. Hey, ow! Oh, elbows don't bend that way! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yo, who cranked up the AC? Uh -oh. <laughs> that would be me, the Honorable Mayor Stokes. I found the democratic process so tiring. It's so much easier just to break the rules. <laughs> Java head hurts. Oh, yeah, major ice cream headache. Uh, more like the adverse effects of the ear splitting sound of power tools. <laughs> oh, you're awake. Just in time. that I'd have to go out and get your big friend. But lucky me, you decided to break him. Ah! Remind me again, that was your brilliant plan, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! <laughs> Thank you for your help. When I'm done tormenting you, remind me to give you a key to the city. Stay. Ah! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a rendezvous with an ancestor. Ancestor? This hall was built on the remains of the shaman's place. The shaman who just happens to be my great, great, great grandfather. Ouch! Oh, careful! Is it me or does Java's five o'clock shadow feel more like eight o'clock shadow? Huh. Looks like someone needs to get back to the gym. Yeah, rub my face in it, why don't you? Uh, yep. As long as those dolls keep working, the three of us are done like dinner. Oh well, at least he captured my good looks. Wait a minute. That's it! What are you doing? Uh, the dolls work by locking onto a piece of you, like your hair or, or your image. <sighs> so if I change my look, the doll won't have an effect on me anymore. Hey, it's working! <laughs> Whoa, major creep alert! Oh, we better get moving before we become part of the scenery. Legend X said that the Shaman has a powerful talisman. Stokes must be trying to claim it. And to search for the talisman, he had to become mayor.
<laughs> Persistent, aren't you? Well, you'll be the first to feel my power. This is even better than I imagined. Diana, give me my doll! No! <laughs> Sorry, but the new me doesn't take orders. Just give it to me, quick! <laughs> Use my own doll against me. And how do you propose to do that? <laughs> it looks like we both fell into the same thorn bush. Pretty lucky for me, huh? <gasps> Now, let's see how you like being a human pretzel. What? The talisman put me down. Anything you say, Mr. Mayor. One voodoo talisman to go. A dangerous piece of jewelry. Good job, agents. Another save chalked up to the marvelous Martin, Jive and Java, and of course, bad girl Diana. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Okay, okay, you proved your point. You can break the rules with the best of them. Now, please, Diana, lose the leather and go back to your old goody two shoes self. <laughs> Sorry, Marty. The old die don't exist anymore. I'm one babe that's through being straight laced. Hey, look at this! Someone misspelled our names in the case report! <gasps> and they even filled in the wrong date! <laughs> now that's just being lazy! Regulation 5, subsection 3 clearly states that the date must be correct on all. Hey. These are blank. Huh. <laughs> gotcha! Ha ha ha, very funny. Uh, I guess I'm not really cut out to be bad. Besides, I never would have guessed that just being myself would have saved my life. And it's no fun breaking the rules if nobody freaks out. You have the best conniptions. <laughs> oh, gross, Diana! Space, part one.
you're sitting, because I found the greatest birthday gift for Billy. <sighs> I seriously doubt it, huh. Martin, considering I already bought the greatest gift for Billy. Java got good gift. Now, uh, hold that thought, Jav. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. You bought Billy a can of silly string? Not just any silly string, a super jumbo can of silly string! Hello, super jumbo boring. What's Billy supposed to do with that? Well, he could do this for starters. <laughs> Whoa, very mature, Martin. Billy's not gonna wanna play with a silly kid's toy. He's an adult. At least I think he's an adult. Well then, Miss Sophisticated, what big grown-up gift did you get him? Huh? I got him something that's fun and intellectually stimulating. You're giving Billy bugs for his birthday? I stand corrected. You are a true friend. It's an ant farm. Billy can watch the ants create their own colony and work as a team digging tunnels. Wow! That should be good for a few seconds of fun. Billy like this? Need oh, a Venus flytrap. Uh, that's almost as cool as Silly String. <sighs> Who really knows what oh. Billy's gonna like? Think about it. We have no idea what he does in his spare time. You're right. We don't know where he's from. We don't even know his favorite swimsuit model. <gasps> uh, Java, control your plants. No, plant don't like Java. Uh, don't worry. I'll save the day. <gasps> See, silly string can come in very handy. Oh, nice job. Now Billy's gift is ruined. Hey, at least now you have a chance to get Billy a gift he'll actually like. And when I find it, you're going to pay for it. Huh. It's the center. Let's go. Lombard. Clear. Java the Caveman. Clear. What's up, gang? So, uh, Billy, uh, there's a really cool horror movie playing at the mall tonight. Wanna go? Or are you more of an action movie guy? Thanks for the offer, Martin, but I've already got plans. Hey, Billy, <laughs> the cafeteria served your favorite meal yesterday, which would be... Oh, uh, that's too bad I missed it. <sighs> Uh, read good book lately? Nope, I'm too busy to read. <gasps> uh, hey, Mom, what you doing? As you can see, I'm extracting a plasma secretion from this alien organism. Cool, alien plasma rules. It's made up of sodium chloride, potassium bicarbonate, halon, and water. Hmm. Aren't all of those properties used in fire extinguishers? That's right, Diana. The concentrated form of this plasma has the ability to freeze anything it touches. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? You will be investigating a series of occurrences in an area of New Mexico in the American desert. Seems people are waking up to find they are missing minor body parts. Minor body parts? But the strange thing is, these people have no recollection of the parts being removed. I want you to see if there's a connection between the people. Uh, no problem. Uh, by the way, have you done any shopping lately? You know, for the big day? Uh. <laughs> uh, can we get you anything in New Mexico? Like a present for a friend? What are you talking about? What's with Martin? I think the earwax has finally seeped into his brain. <sighs> I don't have time for this. Billy, will you please send them on their way? You got it, Mom. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Maybe whoever stole their minor body parts came back and took the rest of her. Huh. Ah! <laughs> yep, your teeth are definitely gone. Is there anything huh. else you can tell us? Anything unusual or out of the ordinary? Well, I do remember having a dream. I felt like I was all alone in the universe. Then this blast of white light hit me. It felt like it was freezing me. Then I woke up. Ugh. I 
I had a very similar dream once. Uh, of course, I'd eaten 12 burritos right before I went to bed. Oh, thanks. I just hope whoever did this to me doesn't come back. Strange. There's no sign of forced entry. Nobody broke in here. Don't you think it's odd that just her teeth were stolen and nothing else? Java, find something! <clears throat> Good work, Java! Now we're getting somewhere. I'll use the U-Watch to analyze the skunk. U-Watch activated. Slime scan selected. Analyzing data. Sample contains trace amounts of radiation. Of course! It must have been a radiation monster. I read about them in a Japanese science magazine. You mean a science fiction magazine? Try this. She works for the Department of Defense. Try this? What does that prove? Perhaps if you'd read her profile, you'd know that she conducts experiments with nuclear energy. Hence, radiation. Okay, so that's sort of a semi-valid theory. Hey, what's up, Chuck? Coming in during your vacation? <laughs> Looks like someone wants a raise. That's weird. It doesn't recognize you after all these years. <laughs> ah, don't worry. We'll have this fixed in the jiffy. There. This should do it. <gasps> Chuck? Get a refund on whatever shampoo you're using if I were you. Quiet! I just woke up and I was missing patches of hair. I cannot believe this. Now I gotta go buy a hat. Look, there's more of the purple goo here. Uh, Martin, the scientific term isn't goo. It's actually the waste byproduct of large quantities of exposed radiation. <laughs> Excuse me. Look, there's more of the waste byproduct of large quantities of exposed radiation here. Goo. <sighs> So, uh, is there anything else you can tell us? Anything at all? Well, there is one thing. Uh, I had this weird dream, see? I was all alone with nothing around me when this burst of white light hit me, and I felt frozen. That's the same dream Wendy had. Oh, it's all starting to make sense now. I think we're dealing with a whole tribe of radioactive dream demons. Oh, it's a call for Mom. Oh, what's the haps, Mom? Agents, I just received word that there was a break-in at a nearby nuclear power plant. Authorities believe this is the man responsible. Oh, well, he couldn't have done it. He was here with oh. us. Huh? This place is definitely high security. There's no way Chuck or anyone else could have broken into here. Watch tape. The security guard told me the surveillance cameras went down during the break-in. There's no footage. I think I found something. Oh, what that? Slime scan selected. I know one way to find out. Analyzing data. Substance unknown. Contains traces of human DNA. Human DNA? Well, we better have Billy take a look at this. There's got to be a logical scientific explanation. Logical? Scientific? How is that going to explain where the missing body parts went? Or how Chuck could be in two places at the same time? Face it, we're dealing with something supernatural. <sighs> The next person on our list is an x-ray technician at a medical clinic. Maybe he can give us some answers. Yeah, should have flossed. Maybe I should get Billy an electric toothbrush for his birthday. Oh, yeah. While you're at it, you can get him some floss and mouthwash, too. Hello? We're not even sure if he uses a toothbrush. Or even has teeth, for that matter. Yeah, it's strange. Billy's our friend, but we don't know a thing about him. 
What's happening? I don't know. Someone's breaking in. Quick, hide. Yeah. <laughs> At least now we might get some answers. <sighs> Hold it right there! Hey, it's the X-ray technician. It's him, all right, but what are you doing here this time of night? I, I think he's shedding! This is it. Check the tracer again. This can't be right. It's totally barren out here. It says our target should be right here. Java no see monster. Oh, I really hate it when the trail goes cold. Something here. Huh. <gasps> You're right. It's like an invisible wall. It feels like a building or something. Well, if there's a door, we'll never find it. Wait, I have an idea. <laughs> uh, try it, and it'll be your last idea. One door coming right up. It open. Come on, let's check it out. This is incredible! I think we're on an alien spacecraft. They must have used a cloaking device to keep themselves hidden. I think you're right. But what are the chances they're friendly aliens? Well, they don't seem very friendly towards teeth and hair. <sighs> Let's head for the glow. Keep it 
down? <gasps> Look, it's the people we interviewed. More like exoskeletons of the people we interviewed. But, but how? The missing body parts. Someone or something must have assembled replicas of those people using bits of their DNA. So whatever is on this ship has been impersonating people to steal radiation. But why? I think we're about to find out. Don't get too close. These canisters might be radioactive. Incredible! Freeform aliens! I thought they were only a myth. Uh, I wish they were only a myth. You will not leave here! one of your plans right about now. Uh, there's only one way out. I have to use the you watch. Let them go. Billy? Ah! What's he doing here? Saving our lives. Billy, be careful. You, Denthai. We finally found you! Billy, do you know these slimy losers? His name is not Billy! His name is Ganthar! Billy, is that true? I was once called Ganthar, but that was a long time ago. I'm nothing like that now. You lie! You can change your form! But you can't change who you are! You will always be one of us! Not like you! You were once our great leader! Now you work with these pitiful humans! Billy? A great leader? He's afraid of his own shadow! Tell them they got the wrong alien! <sighs> Whose side is he on? Right now, I don't know what to believe. Now you'll pay for your treachery! <laughs> oh, here, Martin! Use this! <laughs> Extinguisher? Oh man, Billy really needs to take a few how to rescue people seminars. Just use it already! <laughs> Billy must have known that they were afraid of those. Now's our chance to get out of here. <laughs> take that! I am that! And one of these two! Let's go! You're wasting time! <laughs> <laughs> In trouble now. There's just one more left. <sighs> it must have escaped. Gee. Well, two out of three aliens ain't bad. Uh, Billy, why don't you call Mom and give her an update and... Huh? Billy? Oh. He's still on the ship. Your time is up, Ganthar.
previously on Martin Mystery. You will be investigating a series of occurrences in an area of New Mexico in the American desert. <coughs> Seems people are waking up to find they are missing minor body parts. Yep, your teeth are definitely gone. I think we're dealing with a whole tribe of radioactive dream demons. <coughs> oh, what the Substance unknown. Contains traces of human DNA. Yeah, no, it can't be. I hope this day would never come. You will not leave here. Let them go. Billy. His name is not Billy. His name is Gandar. I'm not like you. You were once our great leader. The cold has a neutralizing effect on them. Oh. He's still on the ship. Oh. They came from outer space, part two. Slimy goofball just escaped with Billy. Java no believe either. What goofball? I'll give you a hint. If you look it up in the dictionary, you'll see a picture of Martin. Ha <laughs> ha! That's so funny, I forgot to laugh. Uh, well, look on the bright side. At least we've got these two. Of course, considering they're all freezy freaky, I don't know what good they're gonna do us. Huh. <sighs> I guess we better call Mom. Go ahead, Agent Mystery. We just finished a battle with some major extraterrestrial baddies. We got two of them, but one got away with Billy. Oh, dear. And get this. They kept calling him Ganthar. Pretty weird, huh? Uh, come back to the center immediately. Huh? There's some things you need to know. We kept Billy's past a secret for as long as we could. You see, he used to be known as Ganthar. He was the leader of a very dangerous group of rogue aliens. No way! Way. Billy, I mean Ganthar, was legendary for being the most savage and powerful of all the aliens. Talk about not knowing someone. Billy's closet has more skeletons than a graveyard. Funny you should mention his closet. <laughs> Besides the giant picture of me, it looks pretty normal. <laughs> On second thought, maybe normal isn't the right word. <gasps> what all this? Oh, looks like some kind of galaxy, uh, filled with a whole bunch of ugly brown planets. Those are the planets conquered by Ganthar's army. What do you mean by conquered? After they took the planets over, they completely stripped them of their resources, destroying all life in the process. Then they moved on to the next. So, it's the classical definition of conquered. Indeed. So that's why the invaders are here. They're going to destroy Earth. They're going to try. Uh, hey, why is that planet blue? That's where Billy decided he'd had enough. All those years of destroying planets took its toll. One day, he just snuck away from his army. So how did Billy end up working for the center? No doubt you've heard the stories of Area 51 near Roswell, New Mexico. You mean that old weather balloon that fell to Earth? That wasn't a weather balloon. <gasps> that Billy? That was Billy. Sheesh, aggressive much? But uh, I don't get it. Billy is the exact opposite of that alien and the aliens we captured. That's what Billy wanted. When he joined the Center's protection program, he used his shape-shifting abilities to create the new Billy that you all know. But does he still have any of his old powers? Uh, like, can he blast lasers from his eyes? Do his fingernails shoot out like darts? Oh, that would be so cool! He still has some powers, but he's vowed never to use them. He's afraid if he does, he'll become evil once again. <gasps> but Billy good, right? Now that he's been captured by these aliens, there's no telling what might happen. I have the traitor Ganthar. If you want him, you will return those that you have captured. Bring them to me, or Ganthar will pay the price. 
That is acceptable. Acceptable? <gasps> but, but how do we know Billy's safe? He is safe. <laughs> if you disobey my instructions, I will take great pleasure in destroying him. We can't trust those deep space dirtbags. We gotta free Billy with a commando raid ASAP. They'll never see it coming. No, Martin. I won't risk having any more of my agents captured. Huh. We will do exactly as he says. We need Billy back safely. He's our only hope to stop the invasion. Isn't there a chance that the longer he's with the aliens, the more likely he'll return to being Ganthar? Let's try not to think about that. Oh, I hate prisoner exchanges. I mean, why are we meeting in the desert? Oh, what if these dudes try and pull a fast one? Why would Mom want to go along with this? She had no choice. The alien has Billy. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who's thawing out. Keep it up, boys, and I'll crank up the AC in your little containment chamber faster than you can say frostbite. <laughs> I really don't like this. Alright, where's Billy? You mean Santa? <laughs> Transmission beacon! Silence, Gantha! Ah! Billy! Just stick with the plan. Billy will soon be safe. Forget the plan! No one does that to my friend! Huh? What is that? The insect secretion from Mom's office. Guaranteed to freeze any alien that gets in my way. <gasps> no! Java Stark, you should know better than to try to deceive us. Your actions will cost you dearly. That's an understatement. What were you thinking, Mark? Like I was supposed to know they were going to have force fields. Nobody said anything about force fields. Aliens know like ice. You're right, Job. They're backing off. <laughs> hey, I think they're leaving Billy. Think again. No. Don't worry, buddy. We'll get you back. You have a choice, Gandhar. Rejoin us or perish! I'll never rejoin you! Then you will be exterminated. But before then, you will get to watch as your new planet is destroyed. It is time. Hey, Mom, I'm afraid I have some bad news. 
The exchange was kind of a failure. Kind of a failure? More like a total disaster. The aliens still have Billy and our prisoner popsicles got away. Well, I have worse news. A large alien ship is rapidly approaching our solar system. Without Billy, Earth is in big trouble. Come back to the center and I'll give you a full briefing. Nice job playing <sighs> hero back there. Oh, rub it in, why don't you? As if I don't feel bad enough about letting Billy down. Hey, Billy's my friend too, but we have bigger things to worry about. In case you've forgotten, the whole world's in jeopardy. Maybe not. It's a long shot, but I might be able to contact Billy with the U-Watch. If I can, he'll know just what to do. Uh... Billy! Uh, Billy, can you hear me? <laughs> Martin, is that you? Yeah. Are you okay? I'm fine, especially since you still want to speak to me. Why wouldn't I? Well, after you found out about who I was, I didn't think you'd still like me. Uh, that's all in the past. Right now, we need your help in beating these aliens. Where are you, Billy? Coordinates are 24.32 space 2994. These aliens are the scouts. They've set up a beacon to summon the mothership. If the mothership lands, Earth is doomed. <laughs> What happened? I don't know, but we're not going back to the center. Come on, there's no time to lose. Okay, let's find that transmission beacon. Not yet, let's find Billy first. Listen, Martin, our first priority is to interrupt their transmission to the mothership. My priority <sighs> is to save our friend. <sighs> He must have escaped, and he sounds like he's in trouble. I'm going on record to say this is a really bad idea. Huh. Of course, that's never stopped me before. Huh. Hang on, we're on our way! <laughs> should have picked a better place to escape to. He's up there! Scorpions! Oh, they so never mentioned that in the travel brochures. I'm not surprised since the Egyptian scorpions are the most venomous creatures in the desert. No time for big chickens. Must save Billy. You're right, Jav. Hideous insects chock full of paralyzing poison are nothing compared to our problems. Martin, Java, look! Over here! Billy, uh, how did you escape? <laughs> first, and here we are. Oh, this isn't good. Go ahead, say it. Say, I told you so. I told you so! <sighs> Thanks. I feel much better now. I guess blowing up the transmitter would have been a pretty good birthday present hmm. for you, huh? <gasps> you remembered my birthday? Of course. We would never forget a friend's birthday, would we? No way. Happy oh. birthday, Billy. I second the motion. <laughs> Thanks. You guys are the best friends ever. Okay, I hate to rain on this warm, fuzzy moment, but if we don't stop these aliens, there won't be any more birthdays ever. Billy, where's the transmission beacon? It's in the bridge. They used radiation to power it up to contact the mothership. There are thousands of warriors on board, ready to set up their colony. And then? They'll take the Earth's resources, minerals, trees, water, everything. Were you really the leader of these savages? I did a lot of things that I'm not proud of, Martin. But I've changed. We know you have. Billy, good. 
gotta be a way out of here. Hey, maybe we can smash through the window. <laughs> it's uh, uh, completely shatterproof. <laughs> so I see. <laughs> huh? You gotta check this out. No way Earth can fight that thing! We're doomed! Unless Billy becomes Ganthar and uses his powers. I... I can't do it. Um, but you were the most powerful alien of them all. You could totally take these guys. What if I change and decide to stay evil? I could end up like the others. I don't ever want to be that bad again! It's okay, Billy. We'll uh, find another way. Uh, we always do. Yeah, we'll think of something. <sighs> Get back as far as you can. Second thought, maybe this isn't such a stellar idea. I hope he's still on our side. He didn't crush us, so that's a good sign. Now let's get out of here. Ganthar! So you've decided to join us! Again. You are too late, Ganthar. The mothership is almost here. Your time is up, Ganthar. Showing them who's the boss.
He saved the world. I can't believe he's... gone. I can't quite wrap my noggin around it either. <sighs> it seems just like yesterday the little guy was popping up at inopportune moments, scaring the snot out of us on missions. Billy, hero. Hey, dudes! <laughs> I thought we'd never see you again! How'd you do it? I just aimed for the mothership's power source and that was it! It was the only way to save the planet! I'm just thankful that eject button worked! Billy Hurt? Well, I'm a little sorry from transforming into Ganthar. As I'm sure you all know, morphine's a killer on the lower lumbar. Then you'll be happy to see this. It's a chip we developed that will make it impossible for you to ever change back. Yeah, and it was all my idea! Hmm. What's wrong, Billy? Uh, nothing. It's a great gift, but... But I don't need it. I faced my dark side and I survived. I'll never change back again. I'm proud of you, Billy. Happy birthday. <laughs> hey, what if we gave the chip to Martin? Maybe it could keep him from being such a goof all the time. Hey! Mm, nope. I don't think it's powerful enough for that. <laughs> 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 